Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Mila Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, Prince Mila Entertainment, Facebook, group of Prince Mila Entertainment TV. We're available on Twitter at P Mila ENT. Follow us on Twitter and we follow back. Welcome to another edition of our daily news, breaking news, everyday news. It comes to you guys each and every day, each and every hour. Today is the 20th of uh, february uh, 2021 and uh, so guys that uh, today today was a big day today must be and uh, yes it's, it just seems uh, that uh, today was a d day and it was a day that we were waiting for uh, since monday when uh, it was announced that uh, chamisa is gonna be at zimbabwe grounds in highfield in field and yeah uh, so um uh, my was a list of things that they wanted uh, the uh, new political party to follow but it seems like uh, that list was worthless because uh, you know uh, from Fakose, from airport people from uh, Kambu Zuma from Bari and we have a Buddha. I feel because Zimbabwe grounds. And yeah, some of the pictures which are on your screen right now. It seems like it was a well, well, well old organized rally. And yeah, that's how you do a rally. And it organized. And uh, we also saw a different artist. Yes. Tona artist Kawanda Aripo Achimba Achfadzawa Rijinji. And yeah, which is a good thing because Parali Panelo Entertainment. So I'm going to come back tomorrow on uh, daily news uh, breaking news everyday news episode number 46 yes 46 episode on monday uh seven o'clock at other time i'm gonna give you guys a full full analysis my own views my own opinion regarding to the speech and uh, chamisa and uh networking is needs and then when you have 40 and it seems like someone else was playing with our network because uh most of the pages uh you know they were doing a live for like 10 minutes then it cut off then they'll come back again 10 minutes it cut off and two uh, most pages were saying you know what uh we're just gonna record and we're gonna put uh the live later on and so we're gonna wait to hear more but here on this page on prince entertainment tv we've uploaded two uh, clips of audios i know uh yes of Shamisa. yes this is what we managed to get but we're gonna give you guys a full full audio and uh, later on today or tomorrow morning and uh, so monday evening we're gonna be uh talking a lot about nyaya yawasha misa what the men said uh in high food uh, today and again also um chuenga vanguari kum marondera today yes he was addressing in marondera uh today also so i'm still gonna give you guys a full a detailed report about uh what chuenga but we are focusing more here today the man uh, was in Haifu today and uh, so I was surprised to see Godfrey Tsenangamo yes to me that was a very 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 surprise uh, uh, you know watch you know I didn't expect him to be there but the man was there we all know Godfrey Tsenangamo you know a former ZANPF member and he uh, in Akatango Pachake last year in fact he was fired he was fired uh, from uh, ZANPF after he exposed Queen B we all know that uh, conference of uh, and the uh, and because and we all know that in politics the moment you start mentioning big names but you see uh, Chamisa also talked up I was expecting Chamisa to reply to ED and to reply uh, to also Douglas Monzora which he actually did so many times he did it and even call uh, Douglas Monzora Dagger boy, <laughs> I mean, you know, tomorrow is gonna be a big day, guys. But tomorrow, I'm gonna be telling you guys all about what happened today. And uh, so, uh, it was a very good uh, turnout. People came in numbers, yes, people came in numbers. Although the police uh, went by some block early in the morning, and I'll try by all means to stop people from uh, coming to this rally. But one Wabuda is singing it, Wabuda from everywhere, and uh, everybody was wearing a yellow color. And again, it seems like uh, the people are ready to actually uh, support this new political party, which means uh, citizens coalition for change. Remember, they're not getting any cent from the government. Maria said, You can go to the PF, you can share 
500 million ye ya kataro ye andi kasa wacha misa baruku mana wasi na budget singa zewe kana wane ma private funders atukua fundo on pa side we really don't know but uh, you know sima unero wa andu kuzucha angu vanu ndo baruku donita mari baruku tasi akureza wata fundraising andi kasa so yungu nyaya foot is very very important in nyaya yeku fano gazira ma polling agents that's a very very crucial uh, issue there to safeguard the vote and uh, the new uh, this new political party needs to uh, do as soon as possible because uh, 2023 going to find a at least all the polling agents in all the constituencies and then no what's is because after that jagatika 2018 uh, 2023. But uh, he also talked about what happened in 2018. He said that uh, what happened in 2018 won't be repeated again. This time, I'll be leading, and you guys will be following. This is what he said. And uh, so we're gonna talk it a lot about it tomorrow. And uh, because this is a promise that he actually said that uh, this time he's gonna be safeguarding the vote, and he's gonna be on the forefront, guys. Chamisa said he's gonna be on the forefront and you guys you're gonna be leading. The supporters are gonna be leading and he's gonna be on the forefront, he's gonna be safeguarding the vote come 2023. This is what the men said. No matter So we're gonna come back to this video and yes, next year I go school only like 400 days or so to go for my elections at 2023 and so I went in the streets and to bono to Amanufunge with this whole uh, wave iripo yellow sand and uh, someone wrote that uh, he is popular just like a music band I don't deny that but as for effectiveness against the PF system in challenging it dololo he is repeating the same mistakes of 2018 the ones of chasing away of others in ignoring democratic ethics of his glory only is not being particular about the fundamentals of winning elections he is ignoring the fact that uh, ids are not being offered at registry most of those young singing are not registered to vote with no ids he is ignoring the diaspora vote he is not mobilizing practically for voter registration as proven by last year zec records which he could not produce his own records to prove otherwise he is not reviving the rural vote he is celebrating a Harare rally, which was always an opposition stronghold and not weaker by the splits that happened, which is so silly. 2018, we had such a rallies, but if the above fundamentals are not addressed, this is just another media hype of opposing the NPF with no cemented foundation. Repeating same mistake and expecting different results is insanity. As for the policy clarity, let me just keep quiet. And no matter how to you know, uh, we all know that Chamisa or the opposition political parties, um, uh, you know, they, they do well. They do well in urban areas. They do well in towns. I mean, this has been proven since 2018, even before 2018. And uh, of course, I got my one and uh, the rural vote and uh, we all know what happened when he did that tour a few months ago uh he was actually attacked by some of the people people tried by all means uh, to stop him from meeting rural folks in fact it was in a rally but there are some other resistance from other uh, community members and and this person talked about nyayama ids i think that's the most important thing again and although zeki could have yeku register to vote but in this instance akuna my ids and i was poor my ids last time pataka mutawara pana patakati in blawayo only 40 people are being given ids every day just imagine 40 people and again matabeleland in doi in one washoma on register to vote. Reason why is because most of them they don't have my IDs and most of them what are tired, what are tired of the politics is they don't want to hear anything about ZANU PF or CCC or any other political party. It's because they feel neglected. And the other thing that we're gonna be talking about uh, again tomorrow, yeah, my IDs, yeah, kosher because voter registration 
I can't speak with Tika when I was not my ideas. And, and you also talked about now, uh, 2021, Pakanzi, Pabule number, you are no, when you are no registered voter. Zeki got 3,000 people were on registered for the year at 2021. And when I did work at Zeki, you number, but don't you worry, strong guys. And 3,000 people registered to vote in 2021, which means that all political parties, including the ruling party, were sleeping. Panya, Zoku to Okwanso Toro and Mao, Okwansa Queen, and register to vote at the same time addressing Yema IDs. And so, this person actually has my points at Rwanda, which I think I, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be talking a lot about them. And but first of all, we need to hear what Chamisa was saying uh, today and uh, at Zimbabwe grounds. So, guys, I'm going to be back tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, seven o'clock at other time on Daily News episode number. 46 is a daily news special seven o'clock at other time we're going to be talking about the yellow sunday yes because this is one of the most popular hyped and uh social media uh topic right now it is trending on twitter everywhere you are going rukons why yellow sunday yellow sunday hashtag mkumananga pinde and uh, so chamisa's uh social media presence is undeniable one of the best and i don't think it is an pf party by social media presence one of shika kuna chamisa chamisa i would say uh in Zimbabwe politics is one of the most popular popular uh politician on social media and uh, so uh does social media turn people into a voters kind of social media Devan Wanga, Kango Zaraku diaspora, Rona America, Rona South Africa, Rugu UK, Kalauti, social media, do and Rugu Zimbabwe. No one knows. But at the end of the day, politics is all about numbers. And so let's hope that uh, all the people who attended today, uh, they are registered voters and they have IDs and they will vote actually. Uh, in 2023 and also my elections are equal march 26 and uh, so guys we're gonna keep you guys in the loop regarding uh to this whole story tomorrow uh on our daily news special episode number 46 here on prince miller entertainment tv we welcome new subscribers who are listening watching us for the first time here welcome to the show welcome to the channel and thank you very much for liking subscribing and be part of this big family yes Panapa, I'll give you guys my own views, my own opinion. You guys are free to comment in the comment section as long as we don't insult each other. Let's agree and disagree. And so this is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. I'll give you guys a full report. Yes, a full report tomorrow, 7 o'clock at other time. Let's meet here live. Yes, live 7 o'clock tomorrow. And tomorrow. And tomorrow also is a holiday tomorrow. It's Gabriel Mugabe Day, Youth Day. Yes, it is going to be addressing my youth uh, who are coming uh, from all uh, four corners of Zimbabwe. They will be uh, joining ED. And they'll be talking about Nyayama drugs, which I still think that is a very important topic for Nyayama youth. And because I found out on Amazon, I don't want to stick a sticker. We shall also teach you. So, guys, I'm going to give you guys the full details again tomorrow. We're going to be covering that also here on uh, daily news breaking news on prince and mila entertainment tv thank you guys for listening and watching let's meet tomorrow monday as we start another week of politics Pagaiba. daily news breaking news everyday news on prince mila entertainment tv remember guys to like share comment subscribe Peace out.